The American Climate Corps is a program that creates jobs to help our environment. It is part of President Biden's plan to fight climate change. The Climate Corps is working on projects all over the country. They are making our communities safer and healthier. The Climate Corps is helping to create a cleaner energy future for America. They are training people for new jobs in renewable energy. These jobs are in solar, wind, and other clean energy sources. What kind of jobs does the American Climate Corps create? The American Climate Corps creates jobs that help our environment, such as installing solar panels and planting trees. President Biden's plan is inspired by the New Deal. The New Deal was a program during the Great Depression. It created jobs and helped the economy recover. Biden's plan aims to create jobs and fight climate change at the same time. This program is about more than just jobs. It is about investing in our future. It is about creating a cleaner, healthier America for everyone. The Biden administration believes that tackling climate change is essential for a strong economy. What is President Biden's plan inspired by? President Biden's plan is inspired by the New Deal, a program that created jobs during the Great Depression. The American Climate Corps is already making a difference. This initiative, launched to combat climate change and promote sustainability, is transforming communities across the nation. By focusing on green jobs and renewable energy projects, the Climate Corps is not only addressing environmental issues, but also creating economic opportunities for many. One example is at the San Joaquin County Fairgrounds in California. This site, known for hosting numerous events and gatherings, has become a beacon of energy efficiency and sustainability. The Climate Corps installed LED lights at the fairgrounds. These lights are part of a broader initiative to reduce energy consumption and lower carbon footprints in public spaces. The installation process involved meticulous planning and coordination, ensuring that the new lighting system would meet the needs of the fairgrounds while also being environmentally friendly. These lights use less energy and save money. By switching to LED lights, the fairgrounds have significantly reduced their electricity bills, allowing them to allocate funds to other important community projects. The energy savings also contribute to a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions, making this a win-win situation for both the environment and the local economy. This is just one example of the many projects the Climate Corps is working on. From planting trees to building wind turbines, the scope of their work is vast and varied. Each project is carefully selected to maximize environmental benefits and community impact. The Climate Corps is making a real impact. They are reducing pollution, conserving water, and implementing sustainable practices that benefit both people and the planet. Water conservation efforts, for instance, are crucial in areas facing droughts and water shortages. By installing efficient irrigation systems and promoting water-saving techniques, the Climate Corps helps communities manage their water resources more effectively and making our communities more resilient to climate change. Resilience projects include building infrastructure that can withstand extreme weather events, creating green spaces that absorb floodwaters, and educating residents about climate adaptation strategies. These efforts ensure that communities are better prepared for the challenges posed by a changing climate. What is one example of a project the American Climate Corps is working on? The answer lies in their diverse portfolio of initiatives, each designed to address specific environmental issues while fostering community engagement and participation. The American Climate Corps installed energy-saving LED lights. This project not only highlights their commitment to energy efficiency, but also serves as a model for other communities looking to implement similar solutions at the San Joaquin County Fairgrounds in California. The success of this project has inspired other fairgrounds and public spaces to consider adopting LED lighting demonstrating the ripple effect of the Climate Corps' efforts. By showcasing tangible results, the Climate Corps encourages widespread adoption of sustainable practices, paving the way for a greener, more resilient future. Section 4, Republican Pushback, Why the Opposition? You know, not everyone supports the American Climate Corps. Some Republicans say the program is too expensive. They argue that it's a waste of taxpayer money. They believe that climate change is not a serious problem. Republicans also say the program will hurt businesses. They argue that it will lead to more regulations and higher energy costs. They believe that the free market, not the government, should address climate change. Why do some Republicans oppose the American Climate Corps? Some Republicans believe the program is too expensive, will hurt businesses, and that climate change is not a serious problem. Section 5. A Future in Limbo. Trump's Potential Impact. Donald Trump could win the 2024 election. 
His potential victory has sparked a lot of discussions and debates across the nation. Many are wondering what changes he might bring if he returns to the Oval Office. His previous term was marked by significant policy shifts, and a second term could mean even more dramatic changes. If he wins, the future of the American Climate Corps is uncertain. This program, which aims to address climate change and create jobs in the green energy sector, could face significant challenges. The American Climate Corps has been a beacon of hope for many environmentalists and young workers looking to make a difference. However, Trump's stance on climate change raises concerns about the program's longevity. Trump has called climate change a hoax. His skepticism about the scientific consensus on climate change has been a cornerstone of his political identity. This perspective has influenced his policy decisions and could shape his approach to environmental programs if he wins the election. He's rolled back environmental regulations in the past. During his first term, Trump took steps to dismantle many of the environmental protections put in place by previous administrations. These rollbacks were aimed at boosting economic growth, particularly in industries like coal and oil. However, they also led to increased pollution and environmental degradation. Trump might try to eliminate the Climate Corps entirely. Given his track record, it's possible that he could see the American Climate Corps as an unnecessary expense or a hindrance to economic growth. This would be a significant blow to the program and its goals of combating climate change and creating green jobs. He might also reduce its funding or limit its scope. Even if the program isn't completely eliminated, it could face severe budget cuts or restrictions that would hamper its effectiveness. This would make it difficult for the American Climate Corps to achieve its objectives and could lead to a loss of jobs and momentum in the fight against climate change. The outcome of the election will have a significant impact on the program's future. The American Climate Corps represents a significant investment in the nation's environmental and economic future. The election results will determine whether this investment continues to grow or is scaled back. Voters will have to consider the implications of their choice on the environment and the economy. What might happen to the American Climate Corps if Donald Trump wins the 2024 election? This question looms large as the election approaches. The program's supporters are concerned about its future, while its critics see an opportunity to redirect resources. The stakes are high and the outcome will shape the nation's approach to climate change for years to come. If Donald Trump wins, he might eliminate, defund, or limit the scope of the American Climate Corps. This would have far-reaching consequences for the nation's climate policy and its efforts to transition to a green economy. The American Climate Corps has the potential to make a significant impact, but its future hangs in the balance as the election draws near. Section 6. Jobs Lost, Planet Harmed, The Stakes of Inaction The American Climate Corps is more than just a program. It represents a commitment to a sustainable future. By investing in renewable energy projects and green infrastructure, we are not only creating jobs but also ensuring a healthier planet for future generations. Ending the American Climate Corps would be a mistake. It would mean halting progress on critical projects that are designed to combat climate change and protect our environment. The ripple effects of such a decision would be felt across various sectors of the economy. It would mean losing thousands of jobs. These are not just numbers, these are real people with families to support, and communities that depend on their income. The loss of these jobs would have a devastating impact on local economies, leading to increased unemployment and financial instability. It would also mean slowing down progress on climate change. The projects funded by the American Climate Corps are essential for reducing greenhouse gas emissions and transitioning to a clean energy economy. Without this support, we risk falling behind in the global effort to combat climate change. The impacts of climate change are already being felt around the world. From rising sea levels to more frequent and severe weather events, the evidence is clear. Communities everywhere are grappling with the consequences of a changing climate. We're seeing more extreme weather events, such as hurricanes, floods and wildfires. These events are not only becoming more common, but also more destructive, causing significant damage to homes, infrastructure and natural habitats. Sea levels are rising and temperatures are increasing. This is leading to coastal erosion, loss of biodiversity and changes in weather patterns that affect agriculture and water supply. The consequences of inaction are dire and far-reaching. These changes threaten our health, our economy, and our way of life. Increased air pollution and heat waves can lead to respiratory problems and other health issues. 
Economic disruptions from extreme weather events can result in lost productivity and increased costs for recovery and rebuilding. Our communities are at risk. Families are being displaced from their 